welcome to the program on uh, principles of supply chain management uh, uh, this will be a concluding session this is a introductory session and each of the topic uh, which we were discussing is a separate sub domain and if you need to develop a uh, skill in that sub domain you need to engage yourself uh, in some training program so that you get the complete uh, knowledge and ready for any interview process there is one more uh, important topic uh, in supply chain management uh, called retail supply chain uh, management it is uh, slightly different uh, from uh, manufacturing supply chain and as we have seen earlier the power has shifted from manufacturing to retail supply chain management uh, here uh the priority is uh, changing in the retailers uh, you need to provide the items uh, so that they do not stock out when the customer wants a particular item the item should be available in self and here the other consideration is a limited space available for the fast moving goods so lot of decision has to be taken in terms of replenishment quantity replenishment uh, frequency and what item where you can uh, keep in a retail environment so that you can make more sales in fact in retail supply chain management there are lot of job opportunity and uh, the boundary between sales and supply chain is very thin in case of a retail uh, supply chain management but uh, as i say the job opportunities are growing even in india many uh, uh, organization uh, are moving towards retailers so specializing in retail supply chain is one more area which you can uh, see there are also some cold uh, supply chain which requires uh, additional special training not all the products can be used in uh, open environment especially if you are talking about perishable goods or pharmaceutical uh, puts uh, goods you need climatic control this requires special knowledge on energy consumption and how to you control them it need not be only in uh, storage it could be also in transportation they are used even in the pharmaceutical uh, sector next knowledge area could be risk uh, management in supply chain how do you uh, manage the risk in the recently you know we are facing a chip shortage because of diversion of uh, come uh, uh, chips from automobile manufacturing to uh, computer manufacturing so many organization globally they were not prepared for this uh, risk uh, and uh, many organization they have simply reduced their uh, production quantity because of non availability of some components so there are various types of risk which you have to understand whether it's a demand risk or supply risk and what kind of risk response uh, you are going to give in each situation there are some terms in that even we have a program on uh, risk management uh, specifically focused towards supply chain you have something called risk register risk uh, impact uh, matrix coming to one more important area for uh, supply chain professional is analytical skill any organization now has tons of data traditionally we don't bother about the data but now there is a growing uh, uh, requirement from the organization that uh, supply chain professional are able to manage the data a uh, traditionally excel being uh, used when you have a limited data but there also you have advanced excel tools like data analysis tool solver some forecasting tools are available and when you have a data say for example more than 10000 records excel may not be the tool one is in terms of handling them second there are no proper algorithms available uh so you need some advanced analytical tool like uh, python uh, or sql here also you have to assume these are additional skill set to improve your performance at your workplace and we are specialist in providing supply chain analytical skill you can browse our site to find out uh, details on this 
also you need to have some visualization how do you present it to the stakeholder in that uh, we use tools uh, like uh, tableau or power bi as far as employment opportunity is concerned supply chain is going to be the future the growing uh, right is rapidly growing in multiple fold because many organization are going in e commerce way and there are a uh, lot of uh, e e uh, commerce platform coming so they need people in terms of planning logistic uh, uh, and other uh, uh, activities and uh, they need uh, skilled people who are capable of handling uh, especially with a multiple skill okay uh, so if you are looking for job opportunity a, a supply chain is better prepared to receive you compared to other uh, domains but uh, you should also keep in mind it is not easy to enter because still thousands of candidate apply for each job even at a junior uh, level i am not talking about fresher i am talking about junior or mid level thousands of people apply for a job so uh, you know in indian condition there is no formal education in supply chain maybe there are some university colleges or private institute provide some form of a theoretical training which is not relevant to uh, organization so uh, they are not able to find suitable candidate maybe they might have worked in a small uh, uh, organization uh, in a small uh, role okay and people are also not willing to uh, spend in the skill uh, update uh, but uh, now the employer expectation is uh, changing they want a dynamic flexible and smart uh, candidate i have seen in many job portal they are talking about navigating in a dark no spoon feeding you should uh, self manage the job in that aspect the skills expected are in depth domain knowledge you should also have analytical skill if possible global certification and erp knowledge without this getting a interview itself may be a problem and uh, you should are also expected to have a good communication skill i have seen many time there are very uh, less uh, percentage of people with whom i classify them a category they are very dynamic flexible smart they make uh, their self initiative upskilling uh, regularly trade for a new thing on the other hand i am also seeing 70 to 80 percent of the people chalta hai attitude why i have to learn why i have to spend money for education let me uh, retire in the same company but uh, the future is going to be different and if you are interested we can support you in many angle and you have to see a three important category of a training institute or a trainer whether they are practically experienced or do they have global certification and uh, or they uh, do they have uh, analytical knowledge of course they should have all the three knowledge combined together uh, and you should have a proper uh, training uh, platform and uh, this is where we figure uh, ourselves including me i have this three combined knowledge don't just go for a free dump uh, in the youtube they have been dumped and recycled several years Uh, back and uh, now in a dynamic market you should know the fresh content so if somebody says life cycle uh, life term access it's simply a nonsense they don't know what they are talking the technology is changing so fast you should know what is happening latest in the market okay so we have lot of uh, both uh, live and uh, uh, recorded program you are always welcome uh, to visit our site you can leave your feedback on the site thanks for watching bye